Welcome to Global Feed, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. Look up into the winter night sky and find Orion the Hunter, that bright, reddish star at his right shoulder. That's Betelgeuse. For centuries Betelgeuse has fascinated us, not just for its beauty, but because it's a red supergiant nearing the end of its life. If Betelgeuse replaced our sun, its outer layers would stretch past Jupiter, it's hundreds of times larger and thousands of times brighter than our sun. This immense size signals its advanced age. Betelgeuse has burned through its hydrogen and now fuses heavier elements, a process that can't last forever. Eventually, its core will collapse, triggering a supernova that will briefly outshine entire galaxies. The real question isn't if, but when. At about 650 light-years away, Betelgeuse is close enough for us to study in detail, yet far enough not to threaten us when it explodes. Its proximity makes it a unique laboratory for understanding how massive stars die. We've watched its brightness fluctuate and its surface pulse, witnessing the death throes of a giant. In late 2019, Betelgeuse dimmed dramatically, an event called the Great Dimming. Was this the end? Astronomers scrambled to their telescopes eager to catch the star's final act. The dimming reminded us that even the most constant stars are dynamic and mortal. Betelgeuse's strange behavior deepened the mystery and set the stage for new discoveries. We're watching a cosmic drama unfold right on our celestial doorstep. To truly understand Betelgeuse, we needed a new kind of eye, the James Webb Space Telescope. Launched in 2021, Webb orbits a million miles from Earth, designed to see the universe in infrared, perfect for peering through dust and into turbulent stars. Its massive gold-coated mirror collects more light than any previous space telescope, revealing details with stunning clarity. In September 2025, Webb turned its gaze to Betelgeuse, putting the star under a cosmic microscope. Webb's instruments analyze the star's chemistry, temperature, and the chaotic motions in its atmosphere. Observing such a bright star is tricky, but Webb's advanced filters and short exposures let astronomers capture faint structures around Betelgeuse without being blinded. This has been crucial for studying the vast clouds of gas and dust the star ejects. The data isn't just beautiful, it's a torrent of information about the physics of a dying star. By dissecting Betelgeuse's infrared light, scientists can map molecules, measure speeds, and read the story of its final days. Webb's superpower is spectroscopy breaking down light, to reveal the violent processes inside Betelgeuse. Thanks to Webb, we're witnessing the frantic complex endgame of a supergiant's life. Webb's data confirms it. Betelgeuse is in turmoil deep in its twilight years. Its surface is a boiling chaos, with convective cells larger than our sun churning heat outward. Betelgeuse isn't just leaking material, it's shedding its outer layers at a staggering rate. Webb's infrared vision reveals plumes of gas and dust, forming a ghostly shell around the star. This mass loss enriches the galaxy with heavy elements, future seeds for new stars and planets. The process isn't smooth, it's episodic and violent, with the star tearing itself apart piece by piece. These observations give us a real-time look at the mechanisms that precede a supernova. Massive stars like Betelgeuse live fast and die young, their final phase marked by instability and chaos. Thanks to Webb we're no longer guessing, we're watching the prelude to a supernova unfold. The great dimming of 2019-2020 captivated astronomers worldwide, Betelgeuse faded to less than 40% of its usual brightness, the faintest in over a century. Was this the prelude to a supernova? The world watched, breath held. Theories ranged from giant star spots to a massive dust cloud blocking our view. Ground telescopes offered clues, but Webb's infrared vision provided the answer. Webb confirmed both theories, a large cool patch formed on Betelgeuse's surface, and a colossal dust cloud was ejected, obscuring the star. The cosmic sneeze wasn't a sign of imminent explosion, but a dramatic example of red supergiant behavior. As the ejected gas cooled, it condensed into dust, veiling Betelgeuse from Earth. Thanks to Webb, we now understand the mechanics behind this mysterious episode. With the great dimming explained, the big question remains, when will Betelgeuse explode? Webb's data shows Betelgeuse is in its final phase, but the supernova isn't imminent. Current models refined by Webb estimate the explosion will happen within the next 100,000 years. A blink in cosmic time. The star is burning its last fuel, but predicting the exact moment is nearly impossible. 
we can only observe surface effects, not the hidden drama deep in the core. It's like watching smoke from a volcano, knowing an eruption is coming but not when. For now, Betelgeuse won't explode tomorrow or next year. When it does, it will shine as bright as the full moon, visible even during the day. Until then, we have time to study this cosmic giant before its final spectacular exit. Just as we thought Betelgeuse's story couldn't get stranger, astronomers made a stunning discovery. In July 2025, using the Gemini North Telescope, they found evidence of a hidden companion star, Siwarha, nestled in Betelgeuse's glare. Siwarha is about 1.5 times the mass of our Sun, and orbits Betelgeuse every six years, within the supergiant's extended atmosphere. This companion may explain Betelgeuse's cyclical dimming and brightening, stirring up dust and triggering ejections. The Great Dimming could have been an extreme version of this interaction. Detecting Sawarha required ultra-fast imaging, freezing the blurring effects of Earth's atmosphere to reveal the faint companion. This breakthrough opens the door to finding hidden companions around other bright stars. The presence of Siwarha is a game-changer, reshaping our understanding of Betelgeuse's evolution. Binary systems like this may be more common among stellar giants than we ever realized. The discovery of Sawarha adds a dramatic twist to Betelgeuse's fate. The companion's orbit is decaying, and models predict it will be swallowed by Betelgeuse within 10,000 years. Will Betelgeuse explode before this merger, or will consuming Sawara trigger the supernova? The collision could accelerate Betelgeuse's demise, possibly creating an unusually bright or oddly shaped explosion. Our previous timelines assume Betelgeuse was alone. Now, everything has changed. Scientists are racing to update their models, trying to predict how this cosmic dance will end. Betelgeuse is now a living laboratory, teaching us about the life and death of stars. Whether it explodes in 100,000 years or much sooner, we'll keep watching, waiting, and wondering.